journalists and pundits should not manufacture a blood libel that serves only to incite the very hatred and violence that they purport to condemn. That is reprehensible. No one should be deterred from speaking up and speaking out in peaceful dissent. And we certainly must not be deterred by those who embrace evil and call it good. And we will not be stopped from celebrating the greatness of our country and our foundational freedoms by those who mock its greatness by being intolerant of differing opinion and seeking to muzzle dissent with shrill cries of imagined insults. Just days before she was shot, Congresswoman Giffords read the First Amendment on the floor of the House. And it was a beautiful moment, and more than simply symbolic, as some claim, to have our Constitution read by our Congress. I am confident she knew that reading our sacred charter of liberty was more than just symbolic. But less than a week after Congresswoman Giffords reaffirmed our protected freedoms, another member of Congress announced that he would propose a law that would criminalize speech that he found offensive. We can't stand for this. I mean, th this is a situation where I mean, people don't, I mean, they really, really need to realize that the rhetoric and firing people up and, you know, even things, for example, we're on Sarah Palin's targeted list, but the thing is that the way that she has it depicted has the crosshairs of a gun sight over our district. And when people do that, they've got to realize there's consequences to that action.